Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new tech NDI HX camera app for both iOS and Android. This is an application that easily allows you to use your smartphone as a high quality webcam. The app costs $19.99 and that may seem high, but the company responsible for this application, new tech, intends it to be used for professional video production work. So high image quality and performance was very important for them. Here's a little history on the company. New Tech is a Texas-based company that specializes on software and hardware for live and post-production use. They are famously known for the Video Toaster, a low-cost system that was able to replace a $100,000 video production system with a $4,000 computer released back in the 90s. The Video Toaster was used in TV shows, promotional campaigns, news broadcasts, and more. NDI HX camera works by using NDI, also developed by New Tech. NDI stands for Network Device Interface and is a software standard that allows video products using that standard to communicate with each other over a network. In this case, we are installing the software on our PC and smartphone to enable that communication. The NDI standard can deliver high definition, low latency video that is frame accurate and very high quality. I'm really impressed with how good the video looks when using this. Webcams aren't known to have the best quality and the front facing camera on your smartphone is probably a lot better than most webcams. So why not use your smartphone to upgrade the quality of your Zoom meetings and live streams? The way this works is by having the NDI HX drivers installed on your computer and the NDI HX camera app installed on your smartphone. This allows your smartphone to send a high quality camera feed over the network to your computer. Your phone and computer must be on the same Wi-Fi network for the communication to happen. The NDI HX drivers then expose that feed to your PC so applications can use it. You can live stream with your phone by selecting it in OBS or use your phone's camera for online meetings in Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and more. It just acts like a normal webcam. The quality of the video will depend on how good your phone's camera is. Most high-end phones have great cameras and even a lot of mid-range phones can give you excellent results. But if you have a low-end or older phone, your results may not be good and maybe even worse than your current webcam. If you're happy with the quality of the video you get out of your phone's camera, then you will get similar results with the application. When you have the camera app open on your phone, you will get a simple screen with a video feed and two buttons. The NDI button in the middle of the bottom of the screen activates the camera feed and sends it to your PC. When it's blue, that means it's active. And when it's inactive, the button is gray. The gear icon on the right gives you more options for camera controls. When you tap on the gear button, you will get more buttons. Next to the gear icon, you have the video bandwidth button. Tapping this button will toggle through the different resolutions and frame rates the app detects for your phone's camera. Then we have the camera switch button. As you might already know, this button will switch between your front and rear camera. After the camera switch button, we have a mic icon that can mute your microphone. On the other side of the NDI button, we have a grid button. This grid will help you frame subjects that you are recording. We also have the button that turns on and off your phone's flash. Pretty simple. These numbers with a black and white gradient bar at the bottom represent the exposure controls. So if your video feed is too dark, then move the little circle in the middle to the right. If the feed is too bright, just move it to the left. Finally, we have a vertical bar representing zoom controls. If your camera's feed is too wide and you want to get in closer, just use this slider. And those are all the controls available to you on the app. Unfortunately, as of the making of this video, the app is not working on my brand new Galaxy S21 Ultra phone. It worked on my previous S20 Ultra and it works on my much older Galaxy S6. NewTech says that they are aware of the problem and are working on a fix. So hopefully a fix comes out soon. If you decide to purchase this app, you may first want to go to the new tech forums and ask if the app is compatible with your device. The $20 price also may be a bit high for some. iOS users may want to try Epoch Cam by Elgato instead. It costs $7.99, but I haven't used it, so I cannot comment on its quality. Epoch Cam has a free version for you to try out, while NewTek's NDI HX camera app 
does not have a free version. But I am planning a future video on that app. Keep an eye out for it. That's an overview on how NDI HX camera works and what you can do with it. Now, I'm going to go through the entire process on how I set it up. But before I get to that, please remember to like this video. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon right next to it so you can get alerted when a new video comes out. So let's set this application up. Go to your app store and search for NDI HX camera. Purchase it and install it. Then we want to go onto our PC and download the NDI tools from the new tech website. The NDI tools are free, so don't worry about paying another fee for more software. On your PC, open a browser and visit www.newtech.com. Click on NDI, then click on NDI tools. Scroll down and click on the download button. And now select the button for your operating system. Fill out the form and submit. Newtech will then send you an email with a download link. So in the email that was sent to you, click on the link to download the installer. Once it's downloaded, run the installer. Now this step is important. We don't want to install everything, just the necessary drivers for the phone app to work. Click on the drop down here and select webcam input. Now scroll down and check off webcam input and NDI HX drivers. Click on next and continue with the download process until it's done. So we have both the drivers installed on my PC and the app installed on my phone. I'll now open up the app on my phone. Give permissions for the camera and microphone and make sure the NDI button in the middle is blue. If it's gray, just tap on it to make it blue. Your phone can now be detected by your PC. Let's get on my PC now. A program called NDI Virtual Input is in my system tray. If you don't see it, just go to your list of programs and open up the Webcam Input application and it will appear in the system tray. So on the system tray icon, right click it to get this menu. Scroll up to your phone's name and click on it. Then click on the NDI HX camera option. The phone is now sending a camera feed to your PC. Your phone and PC are now communicating with each other. All we have to do now is open up an application we want to use the camera in. Let's first try it out on a webcam test website. Go to webcamtests.com. On the drop down, select New Tech NDI video. Then click on Test My Cam. And we get a video feed. To get this working on Zoom, just click on the up arrow next to the camera icon and select New Tech NDI video. And you can see we're getting a video feed on Zoom. Finally, let's try out OBS. Here I have OBS open. I'll double click on my webcam layer and in the device section, I'll just click select New Tech NDI video and we get a feed. So that's it, we're done. I hope this video helps you. Let me know in the comments on how you would use this app. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.